Hello and welcome to Be a Tier, the German Engineer. Today we're back with episode 27 of our newest Let's Play series and this is of course Oxygen Not Included. Yes, last time around we started to build our rocket here in the top and it is definitely coming along. But we still have some work to do. So I would say let's just jump right into it and see how that works out for us. Here we are. So I would say let's turn the overlay back on and let's take a look. Yes, everything's coming along. Everything is good. We already put in the piping. Yes, that is correct. It just needs to get built. And in research, yes, we already have the high velocity transport right here. And this here is what we are going for. Let's zoom in as far as we can. And let's see here. Yes, the drill cone is what we need. We need a total of 250 data analysis research. Do we actually have enough data banks? I don't even know. So let's take a look here. See all data banks. 201. Yeah, we are definitely not having enough, I would say. Unless... I'm actually not entirely sure. Do we need one data bank per research? I believe so. So I think it is safe to say that we need to send a dupe to space. And where is our research rocket? Here we are. We still have 22,000 calories in it. That is perfect. Do we have a dupe though? I'm not entirely sure. Yes, we have Chemster. And we can just send Chemster back into orbit. Because, well, why wouldn't we? So let's do precisely that. Head back to Ingenium. And then we can go ahead and begin the launch sequence. And then Chamster should come by, hopefully relatively quickly. And this rocket here can take off. And we should get in a few more data banks just to be safe. And of course, there's also more research to be done later. So it is definitely good to have it. So Chamster, get on there and off with you to space. There we go. The rocket motor is on. And we should have lift off here any second. There we go. We are off. Champster is on his way back to space. That is where he's really happy. And that is definitely a good thing. While we are waiting for our research to be completed. Yes, let's take a look all the way down here on the bottom. We have this nice, beautiful crude oil reservoir right here. And we have our two oil wells right here where one is currently overpressuring. So dupe should come by hopefully very quickly and actually empty this thing out. Let's give it a number nine priority so the dupes actually do what they're supposed to do. But we can see the very left side of the map. But we cannot see the right side. And I think down here on the bottom may be a good point to dig all the way over. And then maybe with a ladder or something come up and see what else is hidden. So I would say, well, let's do precisely that. Dupes, get down here. And we're just going to dig all the way over here. And we will slowly but steadily reveal what we can find. And we're just going to make our way through here. And eventually we will see the entire map. Because the right side here is still a little bit too dark for my liking. So dupes, let's get it done. And then we will see what we can do next. Okay, so look at this here. We have a bunch of crude oil here. But yes, we have zombie spores in it. We have a spore kid right here. And that is what that thing here looks like. You can read that if you feel like it. Yeah, these zombie spores are not very fun. If the dupes get infected, they become, well, kind of like zombies. They just run around aimlessly. Certainly something we will have to deal with, but that is something we are not going to do today. What we are going to do today is, though, down here on the bottom, look what we found here. Right there, we have a steam vent, and there is more hidden. Right here, we have a carbon dioxide geyser. Well, that is not very exciting, but... We will definitely come down here and see if we can make use of this wonderful, wonderful steam vent right here. It's just a question of how do we get down here. And I think what we will have to do is something very simple. We will probably block it off right around here. We're just going to build a wall. Let's make it actually... Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to leave it insulated tiles. We're just going to make it double thick just so we are safe. And we're going to put a ladder down. And while we're at it, a fire pole right beside it as well on one side and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and that is where we're gonna dig down first this oil here i'm gonna get rid of it probably just going to mop it up if it is not too much which is maybe so maybe we have to plop in a pump here temporarily to get it out shouldn't be that big a deal but then we're gonna come down here and then we will make good use of the steam vent right here so that is next on the agenda while we are building our rocket, researching our drill cone, and of course on the very bottom digging into our steam vent. Yeah, our base is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and I think it would be good to bring on another dupe. So I would say let's take a look at what we have available. The very first one here can dig a lot, but cannot build. Yep, already out. What about auto right here? 
athletics, machinery. It really doesn't matter as long as he can build at the end of the day because we have everything that we need. Uh, here we have athletics, uh, agriculture, construction, decor bonus, food poisoning, bathroom use speed. I think auto here would be pretty good. But auto is of course not going to stay auto. Auto is going to become Detective Duck. Yes, Detective Duck from my Discord channel. Welcome to the game. You are extremely active and trying to learn the game. And that is something that I highly appreciate. So let's hop in here and help us out with our base. That is definitely going to be good. And I'm looking forward to seeing you do some work. And now down here, this here is built. And you can see I put in some ladders so the dupes have an easier time to come over because it took him forever to make it through here. Yeah, that is certainly not efficient. So we just plop in some ladders to make it a little bit easier. And right here, what are we going to do with this oil here? Down here, it is really, really cold. Negative 99 degrees. So I'm considering literally just digging straight down here and just releasing the oil into here and see if it freezes. Not sure if that's going to work. It should in theory. So I would say let's give it a shot and see what happens. We're just going to come all the way down here with our ladder as well as with our fire pole. And we're just going to drop the oil down and we will see if it freezes. If it does, we're just going to pick it up and pour it back over here where it will be heated and then, of course, liquefied and it's back where it belongs. That should be already this simple. The only thing is, though, this here needs to be one higher because I'm pretty sure that this here is the height of our sensors, is it? Yes, okay. So as soon as we reach this height here, it will be over. So this here needs to go one higher and therefore everything else needs to go one higher as well. There we go. That's a hell of a lot better. And now dupes, get down here and we will see if we can freeze us some oil. And now Krivaka is dug all the way down and even built the ladder already as well. And we will see what happens to our oil. We are down to 60 degrees. Also, our ice is, of course, heating up while our oil is cooling down. But I do hope that the oil is cooling down before our ice melts. But we will see how that works out. We will definitely find out one way or another. Up here, we could already mop it up, so that is gone. And now we are looking already pretty decent. But there is one thing we need to do, because what I want to do with the steam wind here is the exact same thing that we already did on Abundino. Speaking of this right here. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it will fit or not, but we will definitely try. So what we're going to do is we are going to create us a blueprint. We just take this entire thing here. Let's make it this low here yeah, and come all the way over to here. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go make it this big right here. That should get the job done. And we just call it, I don't know, Steam and Tamer. Should get the job done for sure. And then when we have it, we will go back to Ingenium. Make sure this here is taken care of. And then we will see if we have enough space right here to put that in. If not, we will have to come up with something else. But that should definitely be doable. And now at the beginning of cycle 530, yes, up here a little bit has changed. I did put in a liquid lock because I do not want the gases to exchange freely right here because that is certainly not helpful if we are trying to contain the heat down here or better to say the cold. Yeah, it's definitely not warm down here. So I also plopped in an insulated tile wall around here to make sure that we keep the heat out of this area. And the only thing that should transfer the heat should be the crude oil right here. And that's perfectly fine. That little bit of transfer is okay. But down here, yes, our crude oil here should be freezing any second. At the moment I say it, it is actually freezing. So that works out perfectly. So let's take a look. Use blueprint. Here is our blueprint from Abundino. So if we plop it in here, let's take a look what this here looks like. Yeah, ignore all the errors. Uh, we will solve that later. But yeah, here we have this carbon dioxide vent. And that is okay, as a matter of fact. We can just use it and just close it off right here. The area in here should still be big enough, as long as our steam turbine right here can still operate, and it can. So this here actually fits in here perfectly, or better to say barely, however you want to look at it. But it should get the job done one way or another. So yeah, we're gonna leave this here exactly as it is. And we just tell the dupes, yeah, let's start building this stuff here. And as soon as this here is built, then we will have to, of course, take care of the vacuum, the water and so on and so forth. It's going to be quite interesting because in this extremely cold environment, we need to somehow make sure that we get enough water in here that does not freeze. So yeah, it's going to be a challenge, but we are up for it and we will see what we can do. We are building and building and building, but it just takes much too long, which means 
let's bring on another dupe. We still have one more space available on our planetoid, so we might as well bring one more in. So let's see what we got here with cooking. Well, that's not very handy, but we do have electrical engineering tier two skill. That could come in handy. What do we have here? Stinky. We have agriculture, machinery and science. And over here we have athletics, creativity and husbandry. And yeah, none of this here is really too good. Yeah, usually I wouldn't take any of the three, but it doesn't matter too much. We are going to get Joshua in and Joshua is, of course, not going to stay Joshua. Joshua is going to be another one of my Discord members. Silent Sam plays. Yes, Sam, welcome to the game. We will definitely need your help. So come in and help us out. I highly appreciate it. And let's go down there and help with our Steam Vent Tamer. Meanwhile in space, Chemster is doing what he does best, and that is of course eating. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He of course is making data banks, and he is already back up to what do we have here? Chill out for a second there, Chemster. Get out of the way. There we go. We are at 182. My goodness, you are at it, my man. But that's very good. You just keep going. We still have 14,000 calories, and there's really no reason for you to come home yet. And while we are at it, how are we looking in our research? So actually the data analysis research has been completed. The applied sciences is still missing. And the rest up here is just a joke after that point because the applied sciences, that is where it's really at. As soon as this is completed, the rest is be done in absolutely no time at all. And then, of course, all the way on the right here we have cryofuel propulsion. That is of course the long game plan, but we are still a little bit away from that. Look at all the stuff that we need to get there. So yeah, we definitely need the data banks. So Chamster may as well keep doing what he does best. And that is of course making data banks. So Chamster have at it and we will see you down on Ingenium soon enough. Meanwhile, down here on the bottom, we are actually making quite a lot of progress. It may not really look like it, but the dupes had to put in this monstrosity here. Yes, this heavy watt wire that goes through half the freaking base and they're still building over here. As a matter of fact, I thought they were done. And apparently we have a one unreachable piece right here. So yeah, let's plop in a couple ladders or something. Something really simple, something just like this. You should get the job done so the dupes can come up and build this one piece and we should have power down here as well. And yeah, slowly but steadily, the dupe should now come back down here and actually build this stuff now that they're done with this extremely long heavy wood wire and the progress should come all by itself. We are still building and making progress down here. Let's take a look into research and look at this here. Yes, we have the drill cone or better to say almost, of course, the novice as well as the advanced research is still missing. But that is going to take no time at all, especially when we bring Chemster home. And that is exactly what we are going to do now. Let's take another look. How many do we have now right here? Those are 100, 200, 253. Yeah, that is more than sufficient. And we still have 11,000 calories left over if we need more. So yeah, it really couldn't be any better. So let's change the destination. Bring Chemster home. Chemster, stop what you're doing and go home. And then let's see, can we watch the landing? It should happen up here. There we are. And he should arrive any second. Yep, speaking of the devil, of course, there he is. And get out of there, Chemster. Come on, buddy. Can you make it out of your rocket? Or do you not feel like it? What are you doing in there, as a matter of fact? Chemster, uh, you are sleeping. Of course, what else would you do? Uh, you just landed a rocket and figured you would take a quick nap. I do kind of understand you, so that's perfectly fine. Atmosphere checkpoint right here. We're going to disable the building. We don't need it for right now. And we tell the dupes to come by and pick all of this stuff here up. This here, of course, with a number nine priority, so it gets done. And our rocket is back. And Chemster can help with the missing research. And yeah, other than that, we are looking really good. And very, very soon we can plop on our drill cone and we can see what this rocket here is actually all about. Down here in the bottom, we are also almost done. So yeah, it is also time to get in some polluted water. The only problem is the polluted water is all the way over here. Well, on the bright side, it could be a hell of a lot worse. So I would say let's just jump right into it. Let's plop in a, a little bit of pipe right there. Let's come. How are we going to do this? The easiest thing would be to come. Well, not like this, but like this all the way down here. And we're going to just come straight through through all of this mess right here. And then over to. Yeah, right around here. That's exactly where we need to go. Then all we have left is, of course, a liquid bridge. And we're going to snip this direction here off. 
There we go. When all of this here is built, I just hook it up to this pump here. And we're going to take this polluted water here at 55 degrees Celsius. And we're just going to pump it all the way over here and fill our loop with it. That is going to be very good, of course. Yeah, that's going to be very, very helpful. Down here, our liquid pipe thermal sensor. Let's make sure we copy Abundino. We're going to come over here. We're going to grab the settings. We're going to say copy settings back to Ingenium. And then we're going to plop them into here. So it is all nice and uniform across both of our worlds. Research has been completed. Yes, let's take a look. We have it. Yes, our drill cone is here. So let's directly start the next research while we are at it. And I think it would probably be easiest if we go straight all the way over here. We're just going to research all of this stuff right here. Definitely a little bit much in radiation, which is certainly going to come in handy. So let's go all the way to radiation proportion. Slowly but steadily, doesn't really matter. And maybe we also can mess around with the research reactor later. So that is definitely going to be good. But our rocket, that's where we at. All the way on the top here. Of course, we need to add one more module. And that module is the drill cone. So dupes, let's get it built. As soon as we have it, we will launch the thing and we will see how it works. The drill cone has been built and there's really only one thing missing. Yes, the drill cone to work needs a diamond and it needs 1000 kilograms of it. And currently it has none. And I set it to number nine. So the dupe should come by and bring it. And speaking of the devil, they're already here. And we have now 1000 kilograms in there. How much of that stuff do we have? Let's see. We have 27 tons left. Yeah, I would argue that is plenty. Very, very good. Certainly going to come in handy. So now that our rocket is done, of course, we need to launch this thing. So let's change the destination and we change it just right here into orbit somewhere. That is perfectly fine. Then, of course, we need to change the crew. And why wouldn't we just use Chemster once again? So let's do precisely that. Let's load in Chemster and then we will bring him into orbit. And then we will see what we can do. There's Chemster. He's hopping into the rocket. And we have basically immediately lift off and the rocket disappears straight into space. So what are we going to do now? We're going to go to the star map. And now we have a rocket that is in space with Chemster in it and doing absolutely nothing because, well, there is nothing in here. So we need to go back to our star map and then we need to do two things. First of all, we need to select the duplicant Chemster and deploy our Trailblazer module. And we're just going to plop it somewhere here. That's perfectly fine. So that is strike number one. And then strike number two is we tell the rocket to go over here. And both of those things should happen now simultaneously. Chemster should be landing back here. That is Kravak. I was just wondering for a second, how is he already here if the uh, module is not here? But there he is. Here we have Chemster. Chemster is safely back on the ground, which is perfect. And our rocket is now all by itself in space. And it is flying over to the sandy ore field right here. And it will just start mining it all without a pilot. We do not have to worry about air. We do not have to worry about water or a toilet or anything along those lines. It will do it all by itself. And as soon as it's full, we just gonna send it back and it will fully autonomously land itself back on Ingenium. And that should be the trick. That is actually really, really nifty. Of course, if we have a longer range rocket, we can go to all of those things here on the outskirts as well. Currently with this rocket here, we only have a range of 10, I believe. Actually, range remaining is nine, but it is actually 10 total. So we cannot go all the way over here and back. For that, we would have to have a base right here. But something else we could do is right here is Abundino. We could just plop a rocket platform right there and see if something is in range here. And then eventually when we come over to Ugista right here, also from here, we could make it down here and back, for example. So this is a really, really nifty trick where you can build a rocket, get yourself some more resources, and you do not have to worry about your pilot dupe. Let's take one last look down here for right now, because yeah, we are not going to finish this here today. It is all built. I mean, all that's missing is the walls, of course, the water that needs to go in here, as well as, yeah, our liquid lock right here, the vacuum in here. But those are all small things. The big thing that is going to take a long time is all of this ice right here. That is a lot of ice. We need to get rid of all of this stuff here because if it stays here, it will just melt. And that is not going to be good. We also have a tiny little bit of carbon dioxide right here because it's freezing cold, of course, as we can see. So this here works exactly as expected. But yeah, that is going to be a long time until the dupes get all of this here done. Especially if you have Silent Sam plays, who we just got into the game. Look at this walking speed. My God. Yeah, we certainly have to do something about that. 
But yeah, the dupes need to clean up, and in the next episode we turn this thing around really quickly, and then we will go from there. That is all I have for you today, so if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and of course comment down below. You know it, I'm always happy to hear from you. And with that I say thank you, and peace.